<laughs> well, welcome back. Uh, I think this is June Freak part 472. <laughs> so let's let's go back on what we've been doing. Original idea of the plank was to come up with possibly a two meter uh, competition res glider. Uh, we've done the foam bit. Uh, which was good fun and proved that rudder elevator was quite effective. Then we went to Klein Fogelman, uh, really liked the Klein Fogelman 2, not that impressed with Klein Fogelman 4, but we got some more work to do on that few later on. Then I went completely bonkers and uh, came up with the idea of using a just a standard pug, making a plug, pug wing. Um, that was fantastic. Now, the downside of it is, when I was um, bungee launching it, getting it away in thermals, I realised it really didn't penetrate forward. And that's not going to be very good on a two metre wing section. So, I've got three wings. I've got the original pug. I've made myself a PW1211 wing section and a PW75 wing section. All cut the same beautifully in uh, covered in feather cover gloss. Just absolutely superb. So we've got light wings on the dunes. Let's find out how they're going to perform one against the other. Oh, that's a lot better. That's a lot better. Look at that, he's cracking about. That's better.
Okay, that's a fantastic afternoon fly. Now, let me tell you my thoughts and how I'd like you to proceed, because I'd like your advice on this. Pug, great all-rounder, but any breeze, you're going to struggle to penetrate. Now, for the dunes, perfect. But for scaling up for a two-meter res, res glider, not sure. The PW5, I've got to be honest with you, slightly disappointed in as much as it performed very much like the Pug and needed a fair bit of um, up elevator, considering it's got um, reflex in the section, and I found myself mucking around with the C of G. Now, my favourite was the P12, or the P1211. Um, that just literally, I bolted that on, um, and that just shot around the sky. You could see the difference in the glide, it was absolutely fantastic. Now, this is where I'd like your help. So I've done the experiments in foam. Would you like me to now build one in balsa? Um, I'm quite keen to do that, and what I'd like to do is make it slightly larger, about a meter size, and possibly stick some air brakes on it, because the next question we've got to ask ourselves, where do we put an air brake with this section so close to the elevator and will it have an effect? So anyway, write in the comments, yes or no, whether you'd like to see a Balsa built up version.